We catch the 1110 train to Pinyao, sneaking our way along the Duro River past mountains molded by man centuries ago. And 30 minutes later, for only two euros and 80 cents, we've made it to one of the oldest train stations in Portugal. Tiles painted blue with the stories of the region cover the walls. They say we're in the home of port wine, but all I can think about is finding a way up into the hills. Rows and rows of vines draw lines every direction I look. We might have missed the harvest, but a few grapes still linger forgotten on the vine. Two orange trees flank the path through the mountain, and we stop for a snack. Wow, it smells amazing. You ready for this, Lulu? Which way is it, Dana? Oh, man. There's that road, that road, that road, that road, and that road. We came from that way, so it's not that one, hopefully. Well, the blue sign says to go that way, but I'm following this, like, I don't know, wiki hike thing that I found online, and it's difficult. I think, I think we just keep going up that way. So, don't follow the trail markers. <laughs> Up and up I climb, searching, around the next bend, waiting, wondering that familiar question again, what should I draw today? The hillside overwhelms the page, the lines are impenetrable, the perspective impossible, you'd have to see these mountains to believe them. And so I narrow my focus down to the essence, the vine, the leaf, the grape, their simplicity in this madness. What do you think? It's really good. Is it done? I think so. Shower. Seeds. Pesticides probably too. Delicious. Ooh, the skin is kind of thick. Mm -hmm. You made it look so yummy. <laughs> <laughs>